Hello, friends and fellow detectives. Last time we left off, Jenny had just solved the case of the missing glasses, and now she's going to head on back to the campus to surprise her mother, saying nothing surprising ever happens. We'll see about that. The library was quiet. Too quiet. Oh. Gerald Strausberry. Cornelia Strausberry. It's a wall of Strausberries. The Strausberry lineage stretched back to the very founding of the university. There had been a Dean Strausberry Gumboldt for over 150 years. There won't be for much longer. The Dean's retiring and the only Strausberry left is Keith, and he's not exactly the academic type. What's on uh, front desk? No one on duty. Book Thief's Paradise. There's a note on the desk. Memo. This man is not allowed in the library due to past incidents. He may be wearing a hat and or fake mustache. Be vigilant. We'll take that sticker. Someone keeps leaving book carts in the quiet study area. Please remember to return the carts to the front desk area. And stop standing on them. We've got ladders for a reason. Dean Strasberry. Now, can we... We can't flip it. No, nothing there. All right. Okay, so we've that that looks like an incredibly dangerous light. The power is going out. That was weird. Hello? Mom? Mr. Strasberry? Anybody? Jenny's words echoed through the library. Something's not right here. A mystery was unfolding. Whatever it is, I'll get to the bottom of it. The case of the quiet library. Too quiet. Doom 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 do doom 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 doom. Oh, was there something in the trash? No. Something peeking around the edge of there? No. Oh, yeah, why is that moving? No. Why do we have the ability to use this right now? Are we seeing... Am I missing something? Something on the floor? No. Something on the bookshelves? No. The picture... Oh, hello. Les, Les Strausberry, Gumbold's 21st and jolliest dean, smiled down at Jenny. Looking a bit wonky today, Mr. Strausberry. A pair of wires ran down the wall and disappeared behind the painting. It's too high to reach. What are you hiding back there? Well, we need to get one of the book carts. Let's read this. The chandeliers that adorn this library are made from a rare Arthurtonian, Arthurtonian quartz, kindly donated by the Glatz Foundation. The Glatz family was one of the oldest in town. They were the first to mine the valuable quartz deposits beneath Arthurton, and as such, they became in incomparably wealthy. And they sure like to let everyone know it. All right, let's go and get ourselves one of them book cards. Oh, what do we got here? Read the black. Ladderton 5000. The pinnacle of remote ladder and bookcase technology. Kindly donated by the Glass Foundation. Okay, how do I how do I use the Ladderton technology? Oh, oh. Oh. Whoa, dangerous. The newly installed ladder system was prone to malfunction. Should have kept the old wooden ladders. Never would have tried to electrocute me. I need to find a way to turn the power off. So we can't get past there. Okay, so... Use the control panel. Jenny gazed at the technological marvel of the Ladderton 5000. Seems pointless. It's not hard to move a ladder. Sometimes it feels like some unknown force is just trying to slow me down. Okay, so let's pick this one. Oh. Oh, hold up. Okay, and there. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> oh, this is bananas. I don't even know what I've done. Oh, we want to move the ladder. I see, we move the stacks. No good. I don't think I'll be able to move the ladders while the electricity is on. Oh, interesting. Okay. So... 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know what we want to do with these. Like, what are what are we aiming to get out of it? I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's going to tell us when we've got it right, or if it's just a thing that we need to... So that case in the middle seems good. No, we have to interact with it. It's not allowing us to get out. Okay. I'm, I feel like that one in the middle wants to stay still. Maybe not. I don't know. But it said the... the uh, like, it's like we've got to move the... Th <laughs> it's like you, you do it enough times and it'll slowly... Who knows? Okay. No, that's... I'm probably not using my noggin here. But seeing the ladder, oh, we gotta get, we gotta turn the electricity off. Um, but then that means we first gotta get these shelves. There we go, finally, the book art. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was kind of weird. Jenny was notorious for climbing book carts. It's the only way to reach the highest shelves. In fact, this could be useful, but something else had caught her eye. This table is a complete mess. Who would leave it like this? Well, I think we know who. Conspiracy theories, messy diagrams, genealogy books, old town documents. Illegible, illegible scribbles, intricate diagrams of giant machines, a worn copy of Aliens and Arthurton. Jenny knew only one person who could have been sitting here. CJ. It's odd, though. He usually hides everything when he's finished. What's this? Hmm. A tattered piece of paper with a series of seemingly unrelated notes. The Shadow Men. Abandoned mines. Observed massive seismic activity. Possible landing site? 2300. Forest. UFOs warm, circling, intense sound. Graveyard, 310. Taken, powerful beams of light. Experimenting on corpses? Also, a sticker. And let's see. Zoom it, and can we move it around? No, we can't flip it. Whoa. All right, we're done. No. Oh, zero, I see, we have to. We have to actually click on the things here. Yovo Swarm. Experimenting on corpses. Graveyard. And what else do we have? The Shadow Men. Possible landing site? UFOs, Shadow Men? Experimenting on corpses? It seemed that CJ was unraveling a mystery of his own. Wait, there's something on the other side. Wow, a color map of Arthurton? Jenny had never seen a town map with this level of detail before. I can't believe CJ left this behind. That's so unlike him. He'd be terrified if anyone else found it. I'll keep it safe until I see him. Hmm. This is an interesting map. So we've got that wander all the way down there. There's some mines or something up in the hills. Got a nice grid structure. Some industry over here. There's all kinds of things going on. It looks like there's, there's nothing we need to do with it. There's no stickers. All right. Take it with us. Find a map. Keep it here. Very nice. Okay, so uh, I think we officially need to uh, decorate with our um, coffee cup sticker and uh, our line sticker, and uh, that would be it. We're good now. Okay, let's get this cart. So grab, hold. Well, that's not going to do us any good. Pull it this way. Great animation. You really do feel like you're watching a cartoon sometimes. That was a very odd puzzle, though, to move the bookcases. That was a weird one. All right, let's get up here. 
climb. There we go. Move painting. No secrets between friends, Mr. Shawsbury. Jenny stood on her tiptoes and delicately removed the priceless painting from the wall. Maybe broke it. All right. Oops. Aha. Precisely what I was hoping to find. It was... Let's see. Lights, bookcases, ladders. I'll cut the power and continue my investigation. But Jenny knew better than to play with electricity, so she left it alone. Now turn up breaker. It's a simple switch. Perfectly safe. And that is the lights. The eerie silence unnerved our tiny hero, but even worse was the dark. Jenny had always been terrified of the dark. Just breathe. A great detective never succumbs to fear. Mm, that's still on. Oh, it looks like that did the trick. All right. So now the question is, is do we want to try to move the ladder to get it out of the way? Oh, we can't. Okay, so we're just going to have to take our chances with this. Uh, what? Can we not uh, get up here? Jenny stopped in her tracks. The sign clearly read, wet floor, caution, her path was blocked. You're kidding me, right? Trampling muddy feet over a perfectly clean floor? She was a maverick, not a monster. Okay. Oh. <laughs> wow, that really is slippery. It wouldn't be a good idea to leave my finger, my footprints everywhere. Okay, let's move this ladder so we don't kill ourselves. Okay. Darn it, I forgot about the wet floor. Okay, can we go up here now? I have no idea where, which one we can go up to. Oh, I see. Over here, where there's an entrance. There we go. That's logical. Okay. Oh, let's push this one over. Those images do some weird stuff there. They're on a very odd angle, though. Hmm, the fallen remains of a bookcase blocked Jenny's path. It looks like a bomb went off in here. It's too precarious to climb over. Okay, so we're going to need to get around to the other side. Also, read the black. Rare books. Our most precious collections reside in temperature-controlled room. Kindly donated by the Glantz Foundation. Yeah, yeah, we know. Open the door. It's locked. No problem. I'll just pick it. Jenny was skilled with a lockpick, having watched her mother demonstrate the process countless times. But that was just for fun at home. This was for real. You couldn't just go around picking other people's locks. That was a crime. A great detective knows when to bend the rules. Okay. Mom always says, lockpicking is a subtle art. Move slowly and search for the sweet spot. Okay. This is interesting. It's funny how many games do uh, lock picking as a thing. There we go. There's a sweet stop, sweet spot. All right. Think of like the uh, the long dark, and uh, yeah, it's it is funny how many games have a lock picking mechanic, and how I, I tend to actually dislike lock picking as a mechanic in games. It's a weird one. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm trying to think what other games recently we played that have. Lock picking, the one where you often bend the thing or break the things if you push too hard. Bingo. I must have been a rush of blood that caused Jenny to act so irrationally. Regardless, she'd picked the lock and felt strangely exhilarated. What treasures lay behind the door? 
Oh, it's empty. Still, that book cart could be useful. Okay, so... I guess we're gonna pick up books. We can't ram it over? Okay. Um, climb. There we go. Oh boy. Um, now it's stuck. We can't move this. Something's blocking the ladder. Hmm. Oh, there. What's we? Something. What is it? Pick up shiny object. There's something stuck in the track. Ooh. Ipsa scientia potestas est. The Dean's Ring. No wonder the ladders were malfunctioning. The ring must have caused a short circuit. Okay. Let's zoom in on this thing. Is there any stickers on it? <laughs> okay, resume it in, zoom it out. Uh, I think we're good. I'll keep hold of this and return it to the Dean when I see him next. Whoa. An empty library, a fallen bookcase, and now a broken balcony. This mystery has all the hallmarks of foul play. Strong impact. Knocked over the bookcase. They say words can't hurt you. In this case, I'd be inclined to disagree. Huge force. Required to break the railing. Solid iron and oak. Torn apart like a piece of bread. It would have taken some serious force to do this. Ripped in half banner. Something bad happened here. Somebody grabbed the banner as they fell. This is feeling more and more like a crime scene. And then Jenny saw it. Uh-oh. Covered in ripped curtain and surrounded by broken glass. It is a crime scene. Uh-oh. What is Jenny going to find? I feel like we might be running into CJ here. All right. Let's go check it out. There was no clues here, was there? Make sure. Uh-oh. You never forget the first time you see a dead body. It harrows the mind, terrifies the soul, scars you to your very core. A dead body? No way. This is amazing. Who lay under that curtain? Who had breathed their last breath? Who had shuffled off this mortal coil to meet their maker? It could be anyone. I mean, it could be an escaped lunatic from the asylum, or an axe-wielding maniac and run from the cops. It could be. It could be. Mom? Oh no. Please no. No. You never forget the first time you see a dead body. Jenny knew it was wrong to disturb the crime scene. But I have to know who's under here. Slowly, she drew back the heavy cloth. Please don't be my mom. Please don't be my mom. Dean Strasberry. Thank God. I... I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Poor Mr. Strasberry, what happened to you? Was this a terrible accident? Or worse? Murder. Her stomach churned. Seeing the Dean's lifeless face, his contorted frame, Jenny felt the urge to run, to get as far from this horrific sight as possible. I just... Jenny had longed for an adventure, for a real case to solve. I didn't expect it to be like this. She gathered herself, took a deep breath, and began to search for clues. Oh boy. All right, well, what do we got here? Six Cents by Claire Voyant. It's a book about predicting the future. I suppose it didn't belong to Mr. Shusbury then. Hmm. Okay. His watch. 
It's smashed, most likely from the fall. The hand stopped at 3.57 p.m. That gives me a potential time of death. If Jenny had arrived just a few minutes earlier, I might have been able to save him. What else do we have here? Another book. The Hawk and the Weasel. And other bedtime stories. It could be important. Then again, it could have I it could have just joined the Dean for the ride. Hmm. Nothing too suspicious here. Can't turn it over. What else do we have? Bits of railing. Oh, the Dean's hands are scratched up. There are bits of glass and metal debris everywhere. He has a burn mark on his hand. Taylor Heads, A Complete History of the Coin Toss. A book about chance. What are the odds that this was an accident? Hmm. And what do we have here? Uh-oh. The Dean's Planner lay open on today's date. Perhaps I can retrace the steps and create a timeline of events. Okay, let's look here. So, he has a rewrite. Oh, Widow's Drop. Meets JL. Could that be Mum? Where's Widow's Drop? I've never heard of it. Thursday. Looks like he's completed all his chores for the day. I already knew the Dean was meeting Mum here. So where is she now? Friday. Looks like he canceled his meetings on Friday and rearranged lunch with Keith. Oh, poor Keith. Jenny didn't know how she would break the news to him. But I should be the one to tell him. Gossip spreads like wildfire in Arthurton. He's supposed to give a speech. He was working hard on that speech. I'm so sad he won't get to deliver it. Oh boy. Okay, what else do we have here? On the periphery of this accident... What does he have in his hand? He's holding something. The Dean's hand was clamped shut around a small object. That strange rigor mortis usually takes hours to set in. I'm sorry for what I'm about to do, Mr. Strasbury, but this could be a vital clue. Faulty identification card. Miss Julie H. LeClue, associated criminal expert. Mum's ID card? But that means... Julie Lee LeClue had definitely been here. She could be the last person to have seen him alive. She could be the killer. Impossible. My mother's a forensic expert. She could never leave such incriminating evidence behind. But even the smartest criminals make mistakes. Jenny could, couldn't deny this looked bad for her mom. If anyone else sees this, they'll jump to conclusions. They'll think my mom's a murderer. Unless a peculiar thought crossed Jenny's mind. Unless there's nothing to find. Removing evidence from a crime scene is a crime. So is planting evidence to frame an innocent person. She had no proof of that. I have to do something. Take the evidence. My mom would kill me if she knew I was tampering with the evidence, but I have to protect her. Uh-oh. Seven to eight clues. We've got another clue kicking around here somewhere. Let's look on his body again. He's still missing that button. Is there anything in his pockets? No, nothing there. He looks like he's been dead for weeks. His skin is pale and colorless, and there's a strange mark on his neck. I think that's all the evidence I'm going to find here. She took one last look at the Dean's lifeless body. I'm sorry, Mr. Strasbury. I promise I'll get to the bottom of this. Wowzers. Jenny knew she should leave and call the police, but how often did a case like this come along? Never. There's more to this that means the eye. The case of the dead man. And I think that's the place where we're going to stop and take a break because we're going to have to figure out uh, this and I suspect we're just getting started. We will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.